All right. And by taking on Rivers United in the final day of the NPFL Super 6, winner of this match will win the league title. But if it ends in a draw, the league title will be going to Amber. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. We start with Rivers United on the ball. Nice pass forward across into the box and almost reaches his teammate. But right here, nice defending by Amber to head the ball away. Throw in for Amber. Long throw into the box. Chizom Okereke gets his head on it. Chizoke Obama was on the end of it. But the flag goes up and Chijoke Obama is offside. Long throw into the box with one eye Sukwa. And right there, the man was offside. Looked like he got fouled if he wasn't going to be offside. And there you go. Albert Kova with a shot slash cross. Forces the goalkeeper into a save right there. Joan Lauren Lake pushes out. And once again, Ebebe Duru with a cross. Lauren Lake pushes that one out. And this moment right here, Albert Kova in the box. And he goes down. Referee is in a good position. He says, no foul points to the goal kick spot. Abakova not happy. The bench wasn't happy. And you see on the replay, gets past the defender. Adekunle Adeleke with the challenge. And the referee is saying that that was a clean tackle. You see it on this replay. I don't think that was a clean tackle. Definitely right there. You see that. Definitely didn't get the ball. And that's that right there. But it wasn't called. So ain't about to get away with that situation. 0-0 zero, zero to score. Ebbe Dura another corner kick. And another same situation on Lauren Leke pushes the ball away. And you got Ebbe Duru with this nice cross into the box. And almost reaches his man. But headed away before it gets to him. Long throw Kaze Ainaya. And this almost leads to an own goal. Beautiful save by Ojo and Lauren Leke. He had to stay on the turf so you can see the replay. I know that trick now. You stay on the turf and they show like five replays. And this deserves like six or seven. Seven. That's a beautiful save. Long throw in. And Yiman Wagwa gets his head on it. And that right there was a connection by a and by player. Pushed away by Ojo and Lauren Leke. And you got Sadiq Abubakar in the box. Great position. Takes too long to shoot. Finds his man somehow, some way. The shot. And that's Chizomo Kreke's shot being blocked. Sadiq gets the ball to Chibuike Mwaiwu. He shoots from long range, not too far away, but it goes over the bar nonetheless. As you see right here, shields off the opponent coming up to him. Strikes it, and that was Morris Chuku looking for a foul in that situation. I definitely don't think that was a foul. Nice looking strike, but it goes over the bar from Mwaiwu. And you got Ekene Awaze on it in the box. Strike but goes wide off target with it. Nice move to get free, just couldn't do anything with it. Free kick, Abel Beduro to take, goes in, and the goalkeeper fumbles it once, but grabs it on the second time of asking. Of course, former NFF president, Amaju Pinnick, and you got a long throw into the box, and this situation right here leads to the first goal of the game. Sadiq Abubakar puts the ball in, and can now it on the end of it, and that's the first goal of the day. And a and by looking like they got one hand on the trophy. Of course, that's their chairman right there celebrating the goal. The ball comes in, headed away by Rivers United defender. Ebube Duru mistake. Sadiq Abubakar puts the ball in and Rivers United just could not get the ball out their box. Kaze Ainaya with the horrible clearance and it kind of put it on the plate. You see this beautiful by Sadiq Abubakar just put the ball in there and that's Kaze Ainaya one of the most dependable defenders at Rivers United for the past couple of seasons and he makes that mistake. That's just football right there. 1-0 to score. Ainaya with the lead. Ebube Duru ball in the box. Finds his man in front of goal but he heads it over the bar another cross in the box but this time on lauren leke punches it out and you got this one this moment right here a foul called against chijo k umboma i really wasn't feeling it he kind of used his arms though so i'm not gonna just say it wasn't a foul but anyways everybody do a free kick second half and that leads to the second goal of the match first goal for rivers united and yima wagwa who else would have scored that goal if not for yima wagwa the big striker has been answering the bell for them all season you got this moment right here player razzling and dazzling but ojo and lauren leke does a good job of punching the ball away and this time is headed out once again by his defender and next you got rivers united on the ball again another ball put in along lake a doing a great job two saves right there pushing the ball away you got rivers united on the ball morris chuku with it taking a shot from long range not even close right there 
Wide free kick aimed by headed away. They get it back though. Make a pass into Chizomo KK. He puts the ball into the back of the net, but the flag was already up, and that's an offside. You see the ball headed away to his man. He makes the pass to him. As you see, he definitely was offside. Even though he scored, the goal was not going to count. And you got this moment right here. Ibabe Duru shielding the man off, and it's called a foul. We need to work on this kind of situation from the referee. That's just a poor call. Letting them fight for the ball for a change. And this is a poor pass right there by Ekene Awaze. And this is a beautiful pass. Finding Sadiq Abubakar running onto the ball. Tries to get a cross in. But Ebube Duru does a good job right there cutting it off. Sadiq with a corner kick. And the connection made. But right into the crossbar it goes. Beats the goalkeeper, beats everybody else. And that's Chijo on ball my getting his head on the ball, jumping highest and beats everybody to it. And right there, crashes on the crossbar. Definitely looked like the second goal of the game for AMBA, but it just wasn't meant to be. And that's that right there. And AMBA with another corner kick, another connection made. But this time, Victor Soshima makes the save. And Wayne Wu with the connection. Corner kick, Rivers United, connection. But this time it's headed over the bar, actually deflected by an and by player. Then we got this moment right here. Don't know what exactly Ojo and Lauren Leke was doing away from goal. Foul called by the referee against Rivers United. Then you got the aim by players getting riled up. Don't know exactly what was getting them heated like that. Because even on the replay, it didn't seem that serious. The referee caved into their demands, though, and gave a yellow card, which I felt was weak from the referee. Check this out right here. He went for the ball. Don't know what else the man is supposed to do. If you're going to call that a foul, fine. But not a yellow card. And we move this time across into the box. But straight to Ojo and Lauren Leke who grabs it. Next you got a poor touch by Chijoke Obama. Goes after the ball. And also commits a foul right there on Victor Soshima who's rolling on the turf. Yellow card given to him at the end of the day. And you can kind of see why he was given a yellow card. In my opinion, he had the right to go for the ball. But maybe he was just a little bit too late. Like right there. But I ain't see too much in the situation, if I'm being honest. Yellow card given anyways. And that's that. Next, you got Joseph Onoja on the ball. Getting a little bit loose. Taking a strike. But it goes way wide off target. Just a horrible one right there. Then we get to this moment right here. Player goes up. Definitely elbows his man. Referee looking on. Play was still allowed to go on. Declared the ball out. And it was up to this moment right here that the referee knows to blow the whistle and say a player got elbowed in his face. And now because they're not charging him, he's not scared or something. So he doesn't even give a yellow card in this situation. As you see right there, that's definitely worse than the one he gave a yellow card for that's just what i'm saying farouk muhammad to morris chuku morris chuku to abe duru he holds on to it makes this beautiful pass the cross comes in and the man slips right in front of goal that was a cold one right there and you got ukeme williams with another cross and that's beautiful defending by ek nakupa heading the ball away and next you got the referee ending the match with 10 seconds left in it i felt he should have let them play that little bit the time but either way it goes rivers united won a and by one and a and by are the champions of nigerian football for the 2023 season congratulations congratulations to the people's elephants of course super eagles legend finiti george gets the title please don't forget to like and subscribe thank y'all for watching peace